let's talk about Polya's problem solving process. We know that George Polya, super exciting Hungarian mathematician, came up with this strategy or this process in 1945. He came up with four unique steps to solve any kind of a word problem. The very first one is that we need to understand the problem. What do we mean by understand the problem? Well, first let's take a problem and kind of dissect it together. Kim's class voted on a location for a field trip. Three-eighths of the class voted for the science museum. Nine thirty-seconds of the class voted for the water park. The rest of the class voted for the zoo. What fraction of the class voted for the zoo? If you take a look at the handout I gave you in class, or as I like to call it, the recipe card for word problems, you'll see that the first thing I think you need to do, very similar to my good man, Polya, is to understand the information that you need to know. So in other words, do we need to know names? Do we need to know that they're going to the zoo? Would it matter if we said they were going to the ice skating rink or a birthday party? None of that matters, right? So we need to uh, understand what information is given to us. And then I like to cross out the information not needed and underline the information that's important. And let's record this on our word problem recipe card. In this case, we don't need to know that her name is Kim. We don't need to know that they're going to the zoo. We don't need to know any of that. What we really need to know is that we have two parts and we're needing to find that remaining part to get to the whole. Hoya's next step says to plan. Here's where we need to figure out what we need to do to solve the problem. So in my case, I want to make draw a picture. This is where you're going to use your strategies for problem solving. Your strategies for problem solving might include making a drawing of your situation, maybe coming up with an equation, looking for a formula, working backwards. All of these are great problem solving strategies. There's many more. I want you to be recording these in your notebook. So we're going to make a plan. For our problem, I'm going to go ahead and draw our picture. Once I've got this drawn, I can see that I need to solve for this piece right here. And it just so happens that that's the portion of students that voted for the zoo. Again, I'm not getting hung up on the zoo because it doesn't really matter in this case. Okay, so now we're ready for step three, which is where we solve. We've already crossed out our information that we didn't need. We've underlined our important information. We've understood the problem. We've made a plan of how we're gonna get the solution and now we're ready to solve. So I know that my whole here, this is my whole class, in this case can be represented by a one. So I have two options here, and this is where I'm thinking about my options to solve. I could add the fractions first and subtract from one, or I could start with the whole class and subtract each part. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first one. So I'm gonna add 3 eighths and 9 30 seconds, and I know that I need to get common denominators. And right here, let me point out as well, we know that I'm allowed to multiply. Sometimes students are confused, like why am I multiplying this fraction by four over four? Why is that allowed? Because we're really just multiplying by one. So we're just cutting the pieces into smaller pieces. So now I know I have 12 30 seconds, and I'm going to add that to my 9 30 seconds, which is going to give me 21 30 seconds. Now I can go ahead and subtract this from my whole. So I know that my whole is one whole, but if I'm dealing in 30 seconds, I want it to be 32 over 32. And I'm going to subtract 21 30 seconds to get 11 30 seconds. My last step I need to do is I need to check to see if I got the right answer. So step four is to check. I can go ahead and add 3 eighths plus 9 30 seconds plus 11 30 seconds. And if I'm correct, I should get 32 30 seconds. I know that I've already changed this into 30 seconds and it was 
12 30 seconds. 12 plus 9 is 21. 21 plus 11 is 32. 32 30 seconds. So I know that I'm correct. A great way to remember problem solving is the UPS check. So it looks like this. U U P S check. I hope you found this video helpful and you have a great strategy on how you can solve word problems.